Good morning. What'd you do to your dog? Oh God, doesn't he look so sad? He got a little infection in the paw. So now he has to wear the dunce cap. Honestly, he, it, it barely looks like he even notices. <laughs> he does, trust me. If you see his eyes right now, they're literally like this. <laughs> All right, you ready to rock? Let's dive on in. Oh, we got one, here we go. I really need your help. Hi, Neve and Cammie. My name is Jeanette. I'm 28 from Long Island, and I'm a visual merchandiser for a big retail chain. A few months ago, my cousin Kiara introduced me to this guy, Patrick. Patrick is 35, served in the military, is smart, handsome, and has a good job at the FBI. What? <laughs> oh God, so what? Everything has to be kept a secret. He can't reveal well, too much. Well, let's see, let's see, this is good. We would speak every day via DM. We eventually were texting. But Patrick was always complaining about his broken phone. Our conversations became infrequent, and I began to think there was something strange going on. Then things really got weird. When my cousin Kiara introduced me to Patrick, Kiara was dating Patrick's cousin, Gabby, in real life. Oh! Kiara and Gabby seemed to be very happy. Honestly, it all sounded like a romantic comedy, but it turned out to be more of a horror show. I confided in my cousin that I was suspicious of Patrick. One day, Kiara did some digging. She found some really messed up things in Gabby's phone. They had a huge fight, and Kiara told me that she thinks Patrick is not real. I want to know the truth about who Patrick and Gabby are, because I am still not sure who I was talking to. And even though Kiara knows Gabby might have been lying to us, she's willing to forgive her and take her back because they're in love, which I think is a mistake. I'm not sure what this girl is capable of. I would truly appreciate your help. Thanks, Jeanette. It sounds to me like she found out that Gabby is also Patrick. Wow, so then this could mean not only would Jeanette and Patrick's relationship be over, but in real life, Kiara and Gabby's relationship could also be over if it's not already over after that fight. Right, there's a lot at stake. All right, I'm gonna text Jeanette. Jeanette wrote back, she says, hi Neve, yes, let's talk. Hey. What's up, Jeanette? How are you guys? Great, we read your email and we were sweating. I mean, the drama <laughs> and, and, the, and the intrigue and the mystery. It's a great story. And it sounds like it is far from over. Yes. You gotta fill us in with all the details so we can know what's going on. Absolutely, I'll start from the beginning. I know Patrick through my cousin Kiara and her girlfriend, Gabby. I met Gabby three, four months ago. She came with my cousin to my job, went to go eat after I got off from work. And my cousin mentions, hey, we should hook up my cousin with your cousin, Patrick. And Gabby pulls out her phone. She starts showing me like his Instagram. I'm like, oh, okay, he's attractive. Gabby kept pushing him on me, showing me more and more pictures. I was like, okay, yeah, he's cute, I get it. So you yeah. were into it? Yeah. And that's kind of how we started conversating. And had Kiara ever talked to Patrick before he started talking to you? Yes, they were in contact. They were getting to know each other's families. She had communicated with him before. Hmm, okay. What was the vibe for you about Patrick in those first few weeks? Our conversations were really, really good. We were messaging constantly, just getting to know each other. And it was really easy. He actually says right away that he's a fan. So I was actually impressed. I was like, wow. Like, I feel like a, a real fed wouldn't say I'm a fed. They would say I work for the FBI. <laughs> right. <laughs> to me, I just thought maybe he trusts me because I know his cousin. But you've never talked to Patrick on the phone. No. I'm pretty sure if you're in the FBI, you have to have a working phone. Right, exactly. He kept repeating how his phone was still broken and how he hasn't had a chance to get it fixed. That's when I kind of started to feel like there's something he's hiding. So at one point, my cousin calls me one night, tells me, I think Patrick might be fake. So I asked her, I was like, what's going on? From what I know, Kiara and Gabby, they would fight and she was having a bit of trust issues. 
and she tells me I went through Gabby's phone and I saw a whole bunch of pictures of Patrick. Like everything that he has on his Instagram is on her phone saved. But she asked Gabby and Gabby denies it at first. So I start doing a little bit more digging at this point and I eventually find the real guy. The guy in the pictures? Yes. Interesting. I send that to my cousin. She shows Gabby. She's like, you can't lie to me. Look at the real person right here. She's like, okay, I'll admit it, but it's not me, I promise. I'm covering for some guy. You don't buy that, do you? Nope. I got so weirded out. She's definitely a big liar, but I don't think it's concrete enough for my cousin to really see. This is where I would really appreciate your help, making it clear to my cousin that she's lying. Right. So obviously your cousin is all mixed up in this. What do you know about Gabby and Kiara's relationship? They had met five months ago online through a dating app. She had nothing but good things to say about her. Like, oh, she's really nice. She treats me so well. And my cousin rarely ever spoke about any partner she's ever been with to me like that. This was the first girl she brought to meet the family. She had never brought another girl to meet the family. And I met Gabby. She was really, really nice at that time. She just came off so generous and like genuine. I was like, wow, I really like this girl. You know, the fact that they were talking about the future together was like, this is pretty freaking serious. Do you think there's a chance that Kiara is still holding out hope somehow that things could work out between them, you think? Yeah, but she has to see that she's insane. She still has all those things that Gabby said to her lingering. I've seen people like this that are manipulators. And then when they get caught in a lie, they manipulate people mm -hmm. to turn things around. Right. And Kiara was bringing Gabby around to the family. So if this is her first serious girlfriend, that's obviously a reason why Kiara is not willing to just let it go. You're concerned that, like, based on Gabby's manipulation tactics, Kiara might still be willing to or vulnerable to Gabby kind of winning her back. Exactly. And that's, like, my main like priority is protecting her from who Gabby really is because she's still trying to get with my cousin. Okay, well look, I mean, at this point, we gotta figure this out. Send us all the stuff you found ASAP. Absolutely. And let us do some digging and we'll get back to you. We could be potentially doing a bust. The Female Bureau of Investigation. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I need. Talk to you Talk soon. To you. Talk to you. I feel like I just stepped into another dimension. I'm just so curious what this Gabby, what does she look like? What does she talk like? Well, we know she has the gift of Gabby. Ah. Uh... I feel like Jeanette basically cracked the case, but with all this Gabby breakup makeup drama, we need to get Jeanette something more concrete pronto. Let's do it. I can't wait anymore. All right, so let's just dive into this. There is an email from Jeanette. Whoa, that was fast. Hey, Nevin Cami, here's what I have. She's got Patrick's phone number and his Instagram. The real photos of Patrick are a guy named Jonathan Jeanette is on it. She gave us his Instagram. And then here's Gabby's info, Gabrielle And we've got her Instagram, her phone number. And then here's a picture of her and Kiara. So here's Kiara on the left and Gabby on the right. All right, where do you want to start? Have we seen pictures of Patrick? Like, what does he look like? All right, let's go to Patrick's Instagram. So this is the fake profile. Here he is. He's a stud. Right. All right, so the most recent actual photo. Who's that devious mitten kitten that said, hey there, mister, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. Who was that? Good question. We could reach out to this girl because why would she post on this account we know is fake? Unless she's just another girl that he's catfishing. Or it's another made up account made by Gabby. Maybe. Send her a message. All right, let's go. Somehow she found the profile of the real guy, right? Oh, here we go. So Patrick is actually a guy named Jonathan. Look, and he's an actor. He's an actor. Should we message Johnny? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Okay, send. So should we look up Patrick's phone number? Yeah. I'm searching whoever Jeanette's been talking to's phone number. No name associate, landline, bandwidth.com. Okay, so clearly Patrick's phone number is a uh, text app. That doesn't surprise us. All right, let's look at Gabby's Instagram. Here we go. Ah, oh, private. She has to have other, like, accounts. That's true, we could search that profile. There's a Facebook profile. Well, that looks like her, doesn't it? That's her. 
But this page hasn't been used in a long time. Yeah. What if we just searched her name? Here's this thing. I don't know exactly what this is. The Jersey City. So let's see what this is. Look at this. You know the cute red-haired bartender with the Hungarian accent? Gabby? Well, she happens to be impersonating men on the internet. Check it out for yourself. Oh, and then look. Here's this Gabby Tumblr thread. Oh my god. This is incredible. I was catfished by Gabby. Her name is Gabby. She lives in Queens. And there's even another one. A different person. The girl is Gabby. She poses as his cousin. Another girl says she knew Gabby in real life and caught her catfishing her friend. Oh my God, these threads are filled with stories of Gabby catfishing people from New York. So is Gabby some horrible, crazy monster? Look, there's a ton more. I mean, we've just scratched the tip of the iceberg. Oh my God, poor Kiara. This girl has to be stopped. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.